think. It is the second highest in the world, second to Nigeria. This increase, we are yet to calculate, but we've got people calculating, may take us very well to be number one. It is completely unacceptable. And since we know the cause of the problem, we know the cause of the problem. I am categoric that that act should be repealed, should be removed. It has definitely distorted the market. There is no other explanation. And parliamentarians should seize this initiative at this time to repeal that act and bring back the free market. You, when you are talking at uh, outside the Royal Catholic Church, you actually alluded to something, and we are not sure, but we now want to get you uh, on record. Did you allude to the fact that there is no need of changing the current constitution and that we should leave the current constitution the way it is? And then finally, on the issue about presidential candidates, we have seen other presidential candidates trying to concentrate within the electoral term. Perhaps you are the only one who is coming in with a new model where we are seeing for the first time a candidate outside Nyanza is actually going to seek votes from a region which is far from this electoral trap. You have not started from your region, you have started from Nyanza, the back of where Raila comes from. How do you intend to sustain this? Have you set up a campaign secretariat? People are going to be your daily contacts. Even when we leave back, we go back to Nairobi, we will have some people here that when you want to reach out to Wendigi, either for one or two issues, then you can go to that office and say, we want to talk to Mr. Wendigi. Can you call him and tell him we have this problem and we want you to be sorted out? Yes, that's, that's a very good question. Let me start with the first one. Um, outside the church, I was categoric that we got a very good constitution in the year 2010. As all constitutions, that was a peacetime constitution. And I can tell you that if you compare that constitution anywhere in the world, they will tell you, first and foremost, the Bill of Rights entrenched in that constitution are literally second to none. We got a great constitution. We should now focus, focus on our economy. Article 43 of that constitution is very clear about the economy and the socio-economic aspects of our country. That is what we should be focusing on. Instead, we are dealing with other amendments, which really, to be sincere, these piecemeal amendments, we don't need them anymore. Some of those things that were proposed in some of the proposals in BBI can be done administratively. For example, increasing monies to counties. That can be done by the administration. That is, there's no law that bars you. So, in all sincerity, in the other, but constituencies. Constituencies, that is the preserve of IEBC. And IEBC will still do that. Because their time has come for them to be done. But my view really is that we should move on let us deal with the economy of this country. People are in so much pain, so much pain everywhere. I've come here to the Lake City, and it is unbelievable the amount of young men who are chasing us for little peanuts because of hunger. It is very, very sad to see human beings, human beings without dignity. They don't care because they are so desperate. We must call an end to this. To me, it's nonsense. You cannot keep dehumanizing us. And I say us, because I'm a Kenyan. There's no pride in having some food and others don't have. This is dehumanization, and we cannot continue this way. The revolution that is coming is purely and simply a revolution of the economy. And really, we need, clean, we need, we need different people with a different mindset. And I call upon the young, I call upon uh, professionals, businessmen, I call upon the communities that know what it is to have a prosperous people to come and join me as the new warriors in this race, as the new warriors to this economic revolution. We cannot have Kenyans in this state anymore. We must change the life for all, not just for some. Now, on the party, you see, ODM is the first party I've ever taken a membership of in this republic. And I love the Orange Party. I do. I am doing what the tenants of ODM constitution state. They say that any race, any seat, 
is up for democratic nomination. I am seeking the nomination of president of this great party, which was started in 2005. This party has the tenets under which I believe I fall. The constitution of this party are so strong in terms of people and people empowerment that I myself do not see any other party I want to be a participant of. I am going clearly for what you call internal democracy. And I believe we show Kenyans that we can be like you've seen in developed countries. Parties that can practice internal democracy, have change of leadership, and the party continues. I think the time has come when we need to form this country into a two-party state. And this time, I believe, is now. So I'm hoping and praying that ODM practices internal democracy. Some of the things they've been doing, uh, I've not been comfortable with, because it's as though people want to form themselves in a room to make decisions. My view is clear. The people decide. Let the people decide. That is the democracy we have fought for all these years. Let the people decide. A lot of bloodshed has been spilled so that the people decide. That must be the tenant under which ODM conducts its nomination exercise. I am disappointed that up until now, I have written to the party several complaints and nobody has bothered to respond. In fact, the response I'm getting are funny comments in the TV about how I should be restricted in terms of my movement when I go places. I didn't know we are back into a state under which I need to call somebody, like the days of the Public Order Act, to go anywhere in this country. We, I don't think we can allow such things to happen again. We must be free to travel and to be anywhere. So I am doing something different, yes. I'm excited about doing something different. Uh, Kenya is a country that is about game changing, and I am one of those who believe in game changing. I've been a proponent of it. I am game changing in ODM, and I can tell you I am confident we'll be very successful. Thank you very much. Santeni, sir. Sasa. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>